probably be something is amiss But I won't mind the feeling, it's all made up in my head Destiny's melody calling out to me So what I'm gonna do is talk for you and walk out to the edge Yo, what's going on guys? Impulse here, and today I'm going to use another FNAF Theory video, and this one is going to be on Security Breach. Now, I've been looking at the Glamrock animatronics, and I've realized some similarities between them and other animatronics, uh, specifically the toy animatronics. So let's just start off with Toy Freddy, and uh, Glamrock Freddy. So yeah. Um, first of all, the arms are actually pretty similar. Um, look at the fingers. Um, there's three fingers, uh, similar to the toy animatronics. They both have, uh, three fingers. And they're even holding the mic in a similar way, which I know there's not very many different ways to hold the mic. Um, but, like, still. Um, there is some differences, like the ears are different. Um, the hat is different. The head is a, a slightly different shape. Um, but... You can also, also the nose is different and the teeth are different, but, like, think about it. They're redid. if, if I'm right about this, they're obviously redesigned and stuff. Like, remember the toys were scrapped at the end, so they probably, like, fixed them up. Fixed them up and, like, changed them a little bit. So, yeah, they also have a very similar eye color. Um, yeah, the eye color is very, very similar. Um... And, yeah. So, yeah, that was Toy Freddy. Oh, yeah, there's also, like, an area around the eye with, like, a different accent color. And there's also the, like, similar to the blue right around Glamrock Freddy's face. So, yeah. Um, this is, um, that's the first one. Now, let's move on to the second one. There's not that many similarities between... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember if I said this, but the muzzle is also a similar shape. Like, how it goes down and then back inwards when it goes around and to the middle just like toy freddy toy freddy is very similar just a little bit different but still similar next up th these ones don't have as much similarity as many similarities but they're still pretty similar and it's um toy foxy and roxanne wolf um first of all the action figure for roxanne wolf was actually um, a reused model of the Toy Foxy action figure, or the Funtime Foxy, um, FNAF 2 Funtime Foxy, um, but I call him Toy, F I call her, I call her Toy Foxy, because I think, like, her name was changed, because that Funtime Foxy was used at Circus Baby's Pizza World, and then, um, once that closed down, that it was repurposed, repurposed for the FNAF 2 location, uh, where the toy animatronics were, so they just renamed her to Toy, Toy Foxy. That's my theory. Uh, I made a whole theory on the, um, uh, Sis Location animatronics and Mangle. Um, that was my first animatronic origins episode. Go check that out if you want. Um, so the ears are a little bit different. Um, but, but also, um, the, um, like, the side of the face is is um also a little bit different it kind of looks like foxies though but if you look back at like if you look at the full model of mangle you can see that they um mangles also looks weird looks similar like it goes outwards and then it and then when you look at it from a side view it goes back down and then outwards again kind of like foxies fnaf one model so they're pretty similar anyway um, I also think Roxanne could be Sis Location for them, Foxy, because the head shape is actually more similar to that one. But I don't know. Um, the lipstick is actually is also really similar to to FNAF Sis Location for them, Foxy. So I think it could be either of these. Um, the eye color is also really similar on these again on this again. And um, yeah, so let's move on to the final one, which is Glamour Chica and toy chica and i think the these ones this is the one that has like probably the most similarities um maybe um maybe um maybe freddy does but i don't know um first of all i think um the top of her head where that thing is looks like a tropical beach um coconut tree or whatever or a palm tree or whatever but, yeah, um, I think they could have just, like, rearranged that and moved it, like, off to the side. If you look closely, there's three, um, little, 
branches or something there. Three little pieces of it. And there's also three here. Um, the eye color is also blue. Um, Glamrock Chica is, all, is like a darker blue, but it's still blue. Um, there's also something, um, pretty similar. Um, that's, that's, um, right there. The gap between the feet, which reappears on Glamour Chica. Like, exactly. Um, and, yeah, the bib is, like, kind of overlaying the rest of her... Boobs. <laughs> Sorry. Um, to be honest, though, she does have boobs. Why did Scott do that? Um, even the arms are in a similar pose. Like, look there where she's holding the cupcake is a very similar pose to where she's holding the guitar. Anyway, the feet are also similar. You see how there's three toes there and there's three toes on here. Um, and yeah, there is a few differences, but still, I think, I think this is still possible. Also, there's like the area there that's connected and then it's separate and then it goes like inwards like um, uh, um like an opposite hourglass figure. I should never say that again. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I think it could be possible. I don't know if I believe this. I think I do believe this, but um, I don't, I'm not, I don't 100% believe it. I'm like 60-40. I'm 60% sure this is true and 40% sure that this isn't. But yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that the, that they could have... The Fesmer Entertainment uh, got the scrapped animatro scrap toy animatronics out of storage and re repurposed them for these. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Impulsive and out. Peace.